Hi, uh, I'd like to talk about video meat shops in this walk. Uh, according to ratios, video meat shops are part of growing online culture and they are user generated contents uh, releasing two or more pre existing videos or audio sources into a new work by software tools so that creating a new uh, meaning. Anyone could basically everyone be a creator of mashup video because uh, it is easy to share and uh, and make. Uh, creators could upload their work on YouTube, Facebook, or any other media platforms. They may have different reasons, for example, for entertainment purpose, for spreading their own opinions, uh, for personal amusements. Mm, but political video mashups basically these kind of video mashups are created for political video uh, for political reasons uh, according to Richard this type of user generated content also can be called citizen generated content because of its political focus the burning of political video mashups can be tracked to the period of 2008 US election cycle. Uh, there are some high profile mashups appeared during the 2008 elections, like Yes We Can video, Crash on Obama video, uh, and you have the break, the break, the magic, the magic uh, goal. These video mashups have a similar effect. They all remix the political speech and the songs, and they prefer to encourage and simulate other people to create their own, uh, to create their own video mashups. You know, these political video mashups play a great role in political implications, uh, because more and more people using internet as a platform to participate in political issues such as election, uh, especially the young people, most of them participate in political issues by watching the uh, political video mashups on YouTube. They engage in online discussion around these mashups in comment sections, uh, you know, so that we get the impact of these mashups. Uh, according to Richard, Political mashups can be treated as a means for political advocacy, political protest, and political observation. And uh, he gave some examples to help us better understand how video mashups contribute to operate as tools of political expression and function as allegories of city citizen empowerment. First one is what different this video appeared in 2007. It was viewed millions of times online and inspired many people to mash up their own visions. The second one is imagine this. Uh, you know, this is uh, an audience only mashup. We have the final one is Scatter Father 4. It was created in 2007 as well. In a world where law is meaningless, power is unchecked, and loyalty is everything, The Godfather Part 4, Fredo's Revenge. And unlike other political mashups videos, Godfather avoids constructing an utopian narrative and uh, instead offers most, uh, mostly a commentary or parody of Bush administration. These three uh, mashups are allegories of citizen empowerment. They are examples of citizen generated political uh, content. Uh, well, political video mashups can reach a widened 
audiences without access to traditional media outlets and uh, can operate uh, beyond the control of corporate media and traditional party politics. So yeah, that's all. That's all uh, about political video mashups.